you're also a perfect person to put in perspective of what the day was like for the holidays. You're you have uh, Philly roots. Uh, before you joined ESPN for all those years that I was fortunate enough to work with you, Jason. What was it? What, can you put into words what the day was like for the Halliday family on Sunday? Uh, so beautiful, so sad, so special, so heartbreaking. It was all of that. <clears throat> you know, I, uh, my wife and I talked a lot to, to Brandy through the weekend, and she, she was amazing. She handled herself with incredible dignity, as she always does. Um, she, you know, she was really emotional on Sunday. How could she not be? But any time I've ever heard her speak, she she somehow finds the right words. And I thought she did again on Sunday. As difficult as that was, I was, you know. I, I was in the front row. In fact, people thought I was photobombing the, you know, the Jeter, the, the Jeter Posada Pettit Tino Martinez group. They were sitting right behind us. Um, but I watched her closely as they were showing the the video of of Roy and his career, and she couldn't watch. She couldn't make mm-hmm. herself watch. And I, I, you know, I felt for her so much in that moment. Yet she was able to, to stand up and. And be so honest and real about it and talk about how she couldn't watch. Could someone please send her that video sometime? I, I, I thought she was amazing. And her kids, the way they handled everything. Her, you know, her son, Braden, was amazing. He wants to do what we do, Rich. And then he actually sat at the podium with her afterwards at the press conference. Um, you know, their family... Is, is still strong and holding it together, and that's not easy. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.